Our Verify team is working hard to keep tabs on America's shot of hope. We've seen claims about vaccines making people sick. And some say they want to sue, but they can't. Evan Kosloff verifies. The Verify team is here to break down rumors, and we do so by going to the vetted experts. Maybe you've seen tweets like this. Pharmaceuticals are immune to vaccine lawsuits, saying that you can't sue over severe side effects or death caused by the vaccine. So let's verify. Do pharmaceutical companies have legal immunity? Our sources are a pair of law professors, Peter Myers from GW Law and Lawrence Gostin from Georgetown Law. First off, medical experts emphasize that severe symptoms are very rare. That was studied before the vaccines were approved. But what about for those who do have severe reactions? Can pharmaceutical companies be sued by them? If you just have an, uh, an adverse effect or an illness that results from a vaccination, you can't sue them. The basis for this is something called the PrEP Act, short for the Public Readiness and Emergency Preparedness Act. In times of public health emergencies, it offers some liability protection to vaccine makers, but not complete immunity. You could still sue if there's what's called willful misconduct. They can mislead, deceive, be fraudulent, hide information. The PREP Act also created a fund for those impacted by vaccine side effects called the CICP. Countermeasures Injury Compensation Program. Those who suffered injuries from the vaccine can apply for compensation. For your lost income, um, for you know whatever medical expenses you've incurred. So we can verify that yes, pharmaceutical companies do have some protection against lawsuits, but not total immunity. Social media is being entirely misleading in saying that vaccine companies just get a get out of jail free pass. With your Verify, I'm Evan Kozloff. And if there's something you would like us to verify, just send a message to our email, verify at 12newsnow.com or message us on one of our social media accounts.